function. And now this one, you can say, guys, see, we have a scalar for both ones. So basically, what I'm going to do is just take my u and my v. So I'm just going to do 3u, uh, which would be 6 comma negative 3 minus 2, which would be a negative 6, um, negative 4. So therefore, I have 12 comma 1. Does everybody agree? So therefore, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's go up 1. Huh? Because uh, that's a negative 2. Scalar is a negative 2. So I multiply by the scalar negative 2. Um, yes. Yeah, why don't I not write that in there? That should have been a negative 6, right? 6. Well, yeah, that becomes po Yeah, it is a positive 6. I, just, I did the work. I did negative times negative, which is a positive 6. So then 6 plus 6 is 12. That's why I got positive 12. Uh, here, I just didn't distribute it. So um, wait. So here, if you multiplied it by 2, so then that should have been a 4. So if you multiply it by 2, but keep it as a negative, right? There we go. So that still should be a positive 4, but then that should be a negative 4. So it should be negative 3 minus, there's minus 4, so it should be a negative 7. What I did was I multiplied it by 2 without the negative 2. So then I kept it as a subtraction problem. So you multiply it just by 2. If you make it look like this, 2 times this is negative 6, 4, which is right there. Then I subtracted it. Then I did the subtraction. So yeah, so that should be a 12, negative 7. So actually 12, but then I'm going to go down 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we would just call this 3u minus 2v. All right.